Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Fipedia on your Zap hosting server. So, so if you guys don't know what Zap's hosting is, it's a um, thing where you can just basically go buy a server. So, so you know with this Fipedia thing, if you guys don't know what Fipedia is, it's basically online LSPDFR. So yeah, um, so me and my friends, we wanted to do make a server because, you know what I mean, it's not a public server kind of thing. You have to make your own if you want to play it. So yeah, I made my own, and you know, the settings, I mean, the instructions, they were okay, but they're not very clear, so I just want to give a visual representation of what you need to do. Let me tell you, it was my first time doing it, so this probably won't be the best and most efficient way you can install it, but I'm just going to go through and explain to you guys what I had to go through to figure it out, so yeah, let's get right into it. I am going to have some stuff blurred in this because I don't want you guys having access to my server and crap, so yeah, so let's get right into it. Alright, so first thing we're going to download, you're going to need to go to the 5PD website. Um, I'll have everything linked down in the description below. So, yeah. I'm going to hit download this file. I need to refresh the page. Give me a second. Alrighty. You won't have to do that, but I did. So, you're going to hit agree. You guys can read it if you're really honest. I don't think anybody does. But you're going to download the most recent one. And then if you guys ever, you know, they're releasing updates like very actively. So, whenever they do release an update, it tells you what you need to do to do it. It's pretty straightforward what you need to do. Like, it tells you right here drag and drop IPD folder so yeah it basically you know I mean it just tells you what to do all right um so go ahead and get this open um I got it right here so let's get this um so what we're gonna need to do now is we are going to need to open this up you're gonna need to go to your zap hosting thing you're gonna need to go to the FTB browser as I said before I'm gonna have this stuff blurred right here like my IP and all that crap because I don't want people connecting to my server but yeah so you're gonna have your port, your username, and your FTB host, and then your password. I also have my password board. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to download FileZilla. I'll have FileZilla linked down below, but it's also right here. So you're gonna download that, get everything installed. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open up your um. I'm gonna reopen mine just so I can do it just like you guys are. So let me open mine up here. Type in FileZilla. So boom, opening it up. So boom, got it right here. So what I'm gonna do is you see the host right here copy that put it up here boom see the username it's right here boom can put that in here and then I just leave port blank it doesn't do crap and your password copy that like I said I'm gonna have this blurred but and then boom and then you're gonna hit quick connect alrighty so now when you hit quick connect you're gonna see this so you're gonna hit that you're gonna go to GTA 5 and I just like getting rid of all the question marks boom you do that click on that and you want to go to server data this is where we're gonna start off so the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to go to server.cfg Oh crap. And then you're going to click on view slash edit. And then now you're going to hit sh um, enter. And then you're going to type start 5pd. Then you're going to hit X. You're going to hit save. Then I just hit finish editing and delete local file. Because I don't want the file on my computer. And then boom. So now we have 5pd to set. So whenever the server starts up, it will run the 5pd. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up this. I'm going to get rid of all these question marks really quick. It's just a thing. And then, so I'm going to make this, I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to hide this. So, boom, I'm going to do that. Um, crap, sorry. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to drag the 5PD folder. So you're going to click on, okay, click on resources. You're going to click on, uh, and then you're going to click and drag the 5PD down here. So, boom, that will take a second. So I'll come back when that is done. All right, so boom, uh, the way you know it's done, it's queued files will have zero. So boom, we're done with basically that already now. So we're done with the files, of those, so you can minimize that. All right, um, so matter of fact, guys, we are not done here yet. So after you get your uh, 5PD um, stuff dragged in here, I'm doing this after the video because I totally forgot about this, you know? Like I said, um, it's a little, you know, first time, it was my first time doing it like a day ago, so yeah. So what you're going to do after you get your 5PD dragged into your resources folder, you're going to click on 5PD, and then you have to click on the config.json, you're going to right click it, hit view slash edit. Alright, so right here you're going to see your username, password, host, port, and database. So where you're going to get all this stuff from is from this web, is from the database info right here. I'm going to have all this blurred again, like I said. But yeah, so your server slash IP is your, um, is your, um, host. So gonna put that in the host oops maybe put that in the host so boom copy that in there like I said I'm gonna have it blurred um, you're gonna put that right there so your database is your um, database like literally so where it says 5pd you're gonna put 
it says zap and a bunch of numbers and then dash numbers and then your username is you know same thing as your database but just goes in the username boom and then your password to click on that little eye and then boom it's just a bunch of random numbers and you put that in the password and then you can leave the port the same I'm pretty sure yep alright so now we're done with that so now what you can do is you can hit X save finish any illegal file all right so there you guys have to do that after dragging the 5pd in so sorry about that forgot that in the video but it's gonna be right in there i just kind of cut this in here so yeah that was my fault almost forgot so yeah let's get right back into it and then what i'm gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to your um you have to go to the web browser but give me a second all right so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the databases on zap hosting it's on the left side all the way at the bottom not gonna scroll down because then it's just makes more problems for me blurring everything out so yeah um what you're gonna want to do you're going to want to click on manage. So now it will open up this link and access denied. Hmm. Alrighty, give me a second here. Alright, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come to the database. This tab on Zap Hosting It's all the way at the bottom there if you just scroll down. What you're going to do is you're going to, I'm just going to go ahead and see, so you're just going to click on the manage button right there. Alright, so boom, it's going to take you to this. Um, I'm probably going to have a lot of this crap blurred because I don't know if it leaks anything. So, yeah. Alright, um, so boom. Alright, you're gonna come right here, click on zap, and then what you're gonna want to do, hit import. Alright, well, it was being weird for some reason, it's not showing on my desktop, some of those wallpaper engine probably. But yeah, what you're gonna want to do, so you see that right there, you're gonna drag, so from the WinRAR, you're gonna drag that uh, .sql to somewhere. So you're just gonna need it. So now you're gonna go back to your Google here on this thing. So you're gonna click on zap, make sure you do that. You're gonna hit import, then you're gonna hit choose file. You're gonna go to your desktop. Boo -doo -doo. And then you're going to click on um, 5pd.sql. You're going to hit open. Alrighty, so boom. Now you're just going to hit go. Alright, so as you guys can see, everything is in there. Um, what I'd recommend, and I'm actually going to get that up really quick, there's this thing where you can automatically just do those departments and rings for you, since you know not everybody wants to do that. So let me get that link up, and I'll have that link down below too. So yeah, give me two seconds, and then yeah, we'll be back there. All right, so a little side note, um, if you go to the GTA Police Mods website um, and you click on Downloads, click on 5PD, they have a bunch of add-ons on here. Um, everything has like little things on it for you. So um, like little add-ons you can install and everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and scroll down. So there's a bunch of things on here, but what we want is the, I think it's all the way down here somewhere. Give me a second. Hey, all righty. I'm really struggling to find this here. Where the heck is it? Okay, here it is. Yeah, standard import SQL. So boom. It's just a little thing here for you. Agree and download. And then boom, you're gonna download this. And then just download this to wherever you need it. I liked it in my desktop, much much simpler. Boom, download that. Let me open her up. I'm gonna drag this to my desktop. Boom. Sorry, open up my other monitor. But yeah, drag that dot SQL into your thing. And then now what you're going to want to do, go back to that. Then you're going to click on zap again. Then you're going to hit import. Then you hit choose file. It's very simple. And then you hit ranks and department.sql. And then you hit go. So now if you click on your departments, you now have San Andreas Highway Patrol, Lane County Sheriff's Office, and the Los Santos PD. So, and then if you go to ranks, you have all the ranks for all of them. So yeah, boom. That's really easy. I like having that. It's much easier than setting everything up yourself. So yeah, now our server should be good to go. So um, let's go ahead and get it started. So yeah, I'll be back once I'm in the server and then yeah. A little side note, the way you start it, yeah, I'm guessing you guys know how to do this, but I'm just, I was hiding the IP and crap, so I don't have to blur it, but just hit play right here, the little play button. So yeah. All right, yeah, and also a little side note, the way you connect for your first time, and if you don't want to look your server up, mine is already named and crap. It should be, actually, I don't know if it is, but yeah. Um, you just put your IP here. I'm going to have this IP blurred, of course, but you just put the IP with the port, and then boom, you can join. So I don't know if mine's done yet. Okay, yeah, no, I don't think mine's loaded up all, all the way yet. It takes a second, especially when you're first loading up for the first time. So yeah, I'll come back once this is done loading up. But yeah, that's just letting you know, guys. Now you just paste the IP that is on your server, and then boom, you hit go to direct connect on 5, and then you can join from there. So yeah, let's wait for that to boot up. And also, another side note is... um. It is not good for you guys to, so you know, the file zilla, so if you guys are adding plugins and everything, I don't, you guys probably don't know how to do that, but 
if you're watching this video, but if you are, make sure, you know, turn the server off. Don't do it while the server's running. It can just corrupt a bunch of things. So, just for your, you know what I mean? Just for the, you know, safety of not getting, having things get corrupted, you know? Make sure you turn the server off and crap. So, yeah. This thing still hasn't started up yet. It's taken a minute, minute or so. Alrighty, so, you know, the way you know you put the 5PD folder in the right place and you put start is if you have the, um, is if you have the loading screen. So, yeah, that's good. But, you know, there's a very crucial part, you know, I almost forgot, so I actually had to cut that in, as you guys saw before, and uh, where you had to go put your database info in that config.json folder. I forgot that. So, yeah, we're back here again. So, now, the way you know the database worked is because at the top left there, it popped in for a second, it says 5PD. If you don't, so, a little disclaimer, if you guys don't have the version number at the top left, that means you guys did not do the database part correctly. And then if you don't have a loading screen at all, that means you just messed up on the putting everything in the resources folder. But yeah, as you guys can see, it worked. So yeah, um, you hit F11. That's the default menu for um, 5PD. And X is another menu. So if I go on duty really quick, X is that. Um, Z is another one. And then U is the other one. I think that's it. Yeah, those are all the default ones. But yeah, so that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully that helped. Sorry you know, if it wasn't the best tutorial ever. But yeah, hopefully this helps you guys. And this is a lot easier to understand than just text instructions. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Um, let me know if you need help installing any plugins or anything like that for it. I'll try to help you guys out as best as I can through comments. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.